Here's another little trick that I like to do. When I get a foot of cinder in, I like to adjust it where I want it at. The exact length, I like it low on my uh, foot, so I wear a right foot of cinder. And I like it low on my foot. I don't like it right enough. up. Well, you know, sometimes it can slack up on you some. And uh, what I like to do is use my sewing machine and actually sew uh, my foot strap that goes under my boot. I like to sew that together. So it won't loosen up on me, and it'll stay right where I want it at at all times. So that's just something I do. And uh, you can see I did a, I did one sew there, another one there, if you can see that. And I did another one there, and I'll do one more over here. And that'll kind of like strengthen the, the bottom foot strap as well. It'll double it up. And so and it stays right where I want it at. So that's what I like to do. Take this in here. You guys see that? There you go. I'll try to get my hand out of the way. So we're going to do two more sews here. towards the end here. Right about right there. Good to go. And there you have it. And then, uh, so now, I got it right where I wanted it. It's sewed up. Let's see if you see that even better. So I don't have to worry about this thing slipping on me. It'll stay right where I want it at all times. So just make sure you uh, adjust it to the boots that you wear the most, or the you know your climbing shoes. And because uh, you know obviously boots and whatnot, soles vary, the thickness varies. So, anyways, I climb on the Arbro uh, clip and step boots. So, anyways, that's what I do. And. Uh, I like it. And if you can't, in case you're wondering, I'm using the Singer Heavy Duty, and I set it at uh, at the four width, about halfway, 0.5 on the length, and then I use a zigzag pattern. All right, let's go with this.